Greetings, programs. Gotta make sure you can hear me again. Alrighty. Like the uh, subject says, uh, I got no, uh, uh, I wasn't planning on working on robots tonight because my 3D printer needs basically some help. I went to go fire it up and uh, the Z limit switch busted out, which is uh, one of these. One of these. And uh, making some changes on. Uh, How things are working, and I'm trying to get you get it close enough where you can just you folks can see what I'm doing. Hey, somebody just notified me of something. Let me get on that. Spent uh, a good part of the weekend watching Interflux. Interflux do his uh, 24 hour Zelda, beat Zelda in 24 hours, the wind, Windwalker stuff. That was crazy, man. That was just crazy. All right. Make sure we're talking. Got things going on. All righty. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, let me clear it off a little bit on the desk here, and I'll show you what we're going to do tonight. Do not need a calculator today. All right, switching over. Ooh, where was I just looking? Da, 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 da. All right. So here, here's a pass switch or two. Here's a pass switch I had, and it doesn't work anymore. If I can uh, show you here. I got the autofocus turned off on that one. I guess I can get up close. Hold on. Actually, we'll go one more. So, here's what these limit switches look like. Oh, hold on. Told you to go there. Here's what these limit switches look like. They're just little switches. Go down. Just little switches, little on micro switches this is actually brand new and it just doesn't really work what's happened is when i'm pushing down on that uh come on focus i'm not having it you can't focus on me you just focus yeah it's not clicking you guys probably couldn't hear the click anyway but it's not clicking. It will if I come back and press really hard right here. So that's almost useless for my, not useless on the switch, but close to being useless for what I'm wanting to do. This is an old switch that I had. And I, you can see I did some jury rigging on that. And because uh, I was a little uh, fast with the jury rigging, I managed to uh, super glue the, uh, the clicker shut so that's about useless too probably use the wires for something though not sure what yet maybe extend another switch don't know but how when you order these things when you order these things you can't just order one of them they're so cheap <clears throat> taste of beverage because they're so inex i say cheap well yeah they're cheap um, you might want to use, a, I'll use the term inexpensive. 
Yeah, turning that way is not very good. Uh, that camera's over there, so maybe I need to rewire, rewire how that, because you guys don't see my, my backside very much anyway. So, if I can get the focus to work. You, they're so cheap, and they have to make them in bulk for a lot of times, so they sell these things that like in, in bags of five. So when you're buying one of them, you're actually buying five of them for the most part. Not all the time. Make sure about it when you're on looking on the order. But I don't know what I paid for these. I think there's like five or six bucks for all of them uh, bound together. And it took them, of course, a month to get here from China. Uh, if you go through uh, uh, Amazon, it still might take a long to get here because they're effectively coming from China. But uh, your mileage may vary on that. So, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to switch this back to overhead. Take off my other eyeballs. This is what we're going to do. Got a Z limit over here. I'm going to rearrange the uh, close up camera over here so you can see it a little better. And hopefully, see me doing some things to see what we got going on in the visuals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can be able to see some of that stuff. We're going to pull off the old one. We're going to put on the new one. And I'm going to find me some uh, uh, I'm going to do this before I put it on. I'm going to find me some uh, what is it? Quick glue. Uh, we used to call it jet back in the day long time ago but it's instant instant glue cryocyanic stuff and we're going to mount one of these uh, washers on top of this before i put it on so i can really control uh so i can really control how uh where that stuff goes so i don't make the same mistake again and the reason i'll show you the reason i'm going to do it i can tell you now what happens same reason i had to do this is the mounting I have to do this the mounting on this um, when it mounts up it's an offset and the plate that comes down to hit it the plate that comes down to hit the hit it just barely does get the side of this thing and I think it put enough pressure on it eventually to and me putting pressure on it to bend it in the way uh, caused it to go back <sighs> lovely yeah, I did a bunch of cleaning this weekend, moved some stuff around, and basically made a bunch more mess. Yeah, in case you're wondering. If I can actually get that or not. Yeah, here. It's a bag that came in. The H-I-C-T-O-P, um, you'll see them all over the uh, internet <clears throat> doing lots of different things. But they sell a lot of print parts. Yeah, I've probably had these sitting in my, uh, in my, oh my God, I need a bunch of these back for, I don't know, a year or more. And I've used them here and there, and I actually had two bags of these, and now I'm down to one. So what I'll probably do is I'll order me some more of these. Uh, from AliExpress while they're showing up I'll probably order some other things as well so another thing to notice they're all together they're all in pairs right so all you gotta do is just take one of the pairs and separate them out I should have those. Hey, you know what I need to do? I need to tweet some stuff out. Give me a second.
All righty, back. Tweeted it out. Oh, I need to find some super glue. That's what I was trying to mean. There to go. Don't need that. Let's uh, recycle that piece of plastic. Don't need that, but I do need something out of this box over here. Been a while since I used it super glue. Hope it works. <laughs> Alrighty. Wood joints. Let's see if it actually does work. So, what I'm going to do. Yeah, I just checked. What I'm going to need to do is rearrange some stuff. I'll need one of those. Let's see if I can do it here. A little rearrange. Probably further batting down the hatches on my uh, well, this this off the ground. Move me around a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that's that was right there. Yeah. Welcome to our printer. Probably gonna play it here anyway. Right. Put that there for further disposal. Try and clean my mess up a little bit. You know, I've just been printing a lot. I haven't really worry too much about the cleanliness of stuff and things have gotten a lot of control. So yeah, I just want to remove that, but the standard one still works good. Another one on here just to keep them out of the way somewhere. All right. Here, give you a bigger shot of me running around like a crazy man. See what you guys can see. Oh, you can see. You might be able to see some stuff, especially if I turn that other thing around. Let's see if I can make that happen. Uh, 
Is that there for the moment? Uh. Yeah, I put up the close up so you can see part of that going on. And I'll move it even closer here in a minute. Yep. All righty. So now you can see what I'm going to be working on. I need to make, I need to actually plan on printing me some stuff so I can close all this stuff up so make it look nicer. But uh, that's uh, not going to happen today. This is going to be needed. I've got parts coming. To convert this power supply here to a uh, use a PC power supply, bigger, better, stronger, all that good noise. Thank you at the moment. Thank you at the moment. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Actually, get some stuff posted. Can't even top right. We're gonna do that again. Sweet. There you go. Cool. All right. Tools out of the way. was happening, I was doing so much uh, traveling and moving things around. Um, before the COVID, I just got where I never put up my tools because these are the tools I work routinely work on the printer with, and they've gotten hanging out over here. And I think I want to continue with that at least for these. Um, got a 10 millimeter, five millimeter. Actually, a quarter inch. Here, nine thirty seconds. Just so happens that tools are made badly enough that they happen to fit, so I use them. I'll hold on to that a little bit because they're not part of my. Yeah, they're part of my throwdown tools anyway. And crescent wrenches. Crescent wrenches, little bitty ones. Get in and get out. Uh, used to have a kind of disparaging name for them. We called them. And they're still kind of disparaging, and we still kind of call them that. But I don't call them that. Right. I can get some of this stuff cleaned up out of here and blow some noise out of it with my brush. What a mess I make. I have no doubt the wife would agree with me. Think about all this, it's all just plastic. 
PLA. It's what I primarily print with these days. And so that means it's recycled. I need that in a second. Here's the front part. Mostly. Oh, no worry, I just didn't unplug it. What an idiot. Talking about myself. this in front so we can get the back. Help here. Yeah, this stuff goes everywhere. Cool. All right. It again on the front side of things. I'll be ready to do some work. Party time. Transmitter wire here. Put that back in my to be used later file. And now let's see if I can get you to where we want to play with things. Have a light. Maybe I can get some light on said subject. Okay, turn on. Put 
Let's see if we can get you close up on the side. So here's what the problem is. See that? And I mean by see that? Right here. That should look like one of these. See what's missing? One of these things isn't like the other. Piece of metal there. So we're going to pull that thing off. We're going to put a new one on there. And if you'll see what why the real problem comes in. What's supposed to happen? Hey, Ralph. I can get it to focus a little bit better here. What's supposed to happen is this plate that you see is supposed to go down and engage that little metal tab that's missing. Well, that button will click. Button still works. This metal tab, the plastic holding the metal tab so the button works is out. What's going wrong, and what's happened is this this the width of this is almost plus where the tab is kind of tapered, almost doesn't get hit by this metal piece right here. So it's hard to hard for it to work. I know it's a lot of focus on this. Let's see if we can uh, work on that a little bit better. Maybe I can manually focus it. My cat's helping me. Here, I'm going to see if I can manually focus it. Da, da, dee, 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 dee. Come on. There it is. Cool, right? No manual focusing. Always hurt everybody. All right. Hey, welcome. Give me a shout out. Say hello. Oh, man. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Woo. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Give me a shout out and say hello. Um see if I can't fix some stuff here. Move some things around. Yeah, I'm trying to fix my 3D printer. I uh, had a switch go out on me. Oh, well, the little metal tab physically broke. And that's what you're looking at right now is the broken, is the broken, uh, what? Ah, <sighs> really? Come on. There it is. Quiet. All right.
Oh, hey. Turning around. It's a, it's a broken metal switch. And so we're going to replace that today. But before we do that, before we replace that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the switch a little bit if the cat will get out of my way. Ah. All right. Thank you, Ralph. Come back and see me anytime. So what we're going to do is this. You imagine. You don't really have to imagine. You see it. I'll position it the same way, same orientation. Right here. And I'm going to use this super glue here and glue that on top of it. Um, and then what will happen is when the, the piece of metal comes down from the plate, the, this plate right there, just you see it, you can see the yellow plate here. Can you see it? Oh, just barely. Thanks. Oh, there it is. The plate right here. I'll come down and hit that, and you were like, well, won't that break after a while? And you're absolutely right, it might. But it's going to be a very long while. Super glue normally holds pretty well. And the amount of force that I'm putting on this should be almost nothing. Almost nothing. Really, Ralph? Out of all the places you could be right now, this is where you're supposed to be? I think that's a good place for you, right there. Perfect. All right. And then once I get done with this, we're going to have to re-level the bed. In fact, there you go. I'll make sure I got it right. Because once this super glue goes on, it don't usually come off very easy. So. This on there. So I flip this over, flip it all over in one big piece. So I need to glue a little bit right there and then put it on so I don't lose it. All right. Let me get me a test sample. Since super glue, this is the kind of gel stuff, and since it's non absorbent, a little bit of this is going to go a very long way. See me move it there, show it hard. Come on, see. Let it sit there for a bit. Ralph, you can't help me right now. I know you want to. My glue dried yet? No, not yet. Yeah, you know, you can't play with a 3D printer. Yeah, I know you want to, but you can't. All right. Really? 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna see if we got it. See if it's on there. Ooh, it might be on there. Up oh, and it broke right loose. Well, that ain't gonna work. All right, that ain't gonna work. We gotta do something else. What do you think we should do, Ralph? Hmm, not that, huh? I'm wondering. I wonder if I can solder. Or I'm wondering. Oh, it's still liquid. I'm wondering if this stuff isn't just gone bad. I'm wondering if I can solder it. Big old blob of solder on that thing, just solder it down there. And that eventually worked loose too, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can, let's see if this stuff is good or bad. So if I take me a piece of paper here. We'll start with something for us. Put it in there. Loctite super glue, ultra control. Well, I'm controlling the crap out of this. I'm gonna push it down. Yes, I know this is just paper. Let's see if there's any directions here. Oh, I need some glasses. Hmm. Function nozzle, turn the cap till it, till it stops. Clicking stops, okay, I did that. Unscrew kind of clockwise. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So let's see, now that was on there for a little bit. This is paper, so you'd think it ought to be stuck bigger in Dallas. And I can pull it apart. I think that's bad. I think there's an expiration date on here, is there? Right? Does it have an expiration date? I know it does. But I don't know what this is, though. Hmm. I wonder if I can make that happen with, with or sort of that. Because that super glue I got just ain't worth it. Might have some five minute epoxy around here, but that seems like crazy too. Hey, welcome. See somebody joined. Uh, so, since you're here, I need to do a little augmentation onto my switch to make things happen. And I, my super glue that I have should have worked, but I just try to use this super glue to glue two pieces of paper together, and I was able to pull it apart. Virtual three. Hey man. Hey Jared. How you doing, man? Yeah. So, if, hey, just so you're here, just so you can see my problem, if you haven't seen it already. If you look at this. Uh, 
What happened? Was well, I know you've got a tarantula too. I've got, I've got. You're seeing a part missing here, and that clip just came right off the top of the switch. Just, and um, I think partially because I was trying to bend it in, because it almost doesn't get hit by this metal plate as it comes down, and so I was I put a bend on it, that sort of thing, to make it happen, and. Um, as I it, it missed it a couple times. Thank God for this old ham coupler I have. Um, got one of those ones that separate if it goes too low. Yeah, I got one that separate if it goes too low. So I came in here and this thing just is spinning out. It actually stopped it and do anything because it went too low, which is great because that's how it's supposed to work. But if you'll see how this is coming close at the bottom. It almost doesn't even contact the switch. And it works most of the time. But here recently it stopped working very much at all. And so my plan was... To use a little of this super glue. Yeah. You know virtual 3D, 3D printer Saturday? Yeah, kind of virtual. It's kind of unplanned. Because I was really uh, wanted to do some more robot stuff, but I, I wanted to go print some things as well. And the printer broke, and I don't know. I don't know if you can tell that the the cat's helping today. This is Ralph, and uh, the plan was to take a washer that I had and super glue it on the edge of it, and it may actually work, but. I just tried to super glue this post-it note to itself using this. It may be old, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work at all. And I'm thinking I might just be able to just put a big old blob of solder right there, get it hot on the other side, and just solder the two pieces. Because you know there's not any uh, friction. I mean, not friction. There's very little force going on this switch, right? very little force and only ever so often right right at the very beginning or only when you auto home does it ever really get hit okay go for the sword okay i'll take your advice on that um mall because what what what's going to happen if it doesn't work <laughs> we just get to try something else right all right, now Ralph, I appreciate you wanted to help. I truly, really do. But this solder and you may not get along too well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take his advice until I know better, and we can both both learn something, right? I've got this silicone mat here, so I'm not too concerned about. Uh, getting things too hot because that's going to go way high but just because i'm gonna try to be a little better let me get some of this other junk out of the way i got some other stuff here i'm gonna play with and show off and i just a mess Solder time. Turn this on. And I think I'm going to go extra hot on this. One second. The 
problem what I've had in the past with solder, I say solder, metals when it comes to things like uh, washers and that sort of stuff, they end up being galvanized and trying to weld these things or pain in the ass. But uh, water, soldering may be okay. What I got going on? <laughs> Yep, let's see if I can get this thing hot enough. It'll take a big old bead of it. That's a so cold solder joint for sure there. See if I can. Oh, come on. No, no. Maybe I don't want to get it hot enough. Maybe I, maybe I need to tin up this side too. We can do it. We can try that. You know what I may need to do? Got an idea. I think there's a coating on top of this to keep it from oxidizing. How about I get rid of that coating? See if it's any better. Hey, somebody else joined. Cool. Shout out. I'll give you a shout out. Well, I'm not talking about besides my wife, and Ralph has made an appearance tonight on the camera. Oh yes. And Ralph is helping. Yes. So I can get some solder to stick to this. I don't think I'm going to be able to, just simply because uh, yeah, all it is is flexing up there. It's not really going anywhere. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not. Luckily, I got a bunch of these little switches. We're going to try lots of stuff tonight until something works.
Ooh, that almost worked. Made it cool enough. All right, hold on to that. You know, that needs to cool off a lot. That might just work. That that washer's still really hot. Well, that's going on. I'm going to get me a couple of screws out of here. The one I got on there now is. Really holding on to anything. Well, that's cooling off. Let me get this out of here. Oh, that's one. There you go. Oh, shit. Shouldn't be laying on it like that. Stretching out my spring. It's going down. Need another one. See how the things are going to fit. I had one bolt in there before. I couldn't find it. They don't have one long enough. I only have two. Yeah, there you go. Oh. So let's feel the. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's on there good. It's on there good. Here, I'll show you close up. It's on there good. I should do everything I need to do right there. All right. And we're going to have to reset that. Uh, on that as well. Make sure this fits. That's exactly what it needs to fit. Yay! Yeah! Well, that didn't last too long. Okay, let me go get me some. Yep, exactly. clean this off okay so maybe we don't use a washer what else I got over there I'm going to uh... I'm clean this off a little bit get some uh...
Get some of this braid. Suck a solder off of here. Okay, first idea. Toast. I don't know if solder's going to get it for us. Hey, CC, how you doing? Um, how's the real robotics robotics person doing? I'm trying to uh, uh, redneck engineer me a Z limit stop switch because mine broke, and I can stick this back on there and it will work. It'll be just fine, but sometimes uh, when the blade comes down. Uh, show you when when this plate comes down and engages where the limit switch would be it just it barely does hit it and after a while the thing gets worn out but I guess oh that's good yeah I, uh, you just missed my cleanup session of all the junk I had laying around my printer man crazy So maybe I can just put that switch back on and just live with it how it was. I was just trying to improve it a little bit. Yeah, might as well do that. I need to change the height of it a little bit anyhow. So let me put that on there and I'll see if it works. And I was just trying to be, I don't know, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that's your, what's that, CPU hot? Is this your, that's the heat on your CPU? I don't think that's too bad. I don't think it's too bad at all. Yeah. Been a while since I've tried to overclock things and worry about some of those temperatures. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's too bad at all. I know that uh, I know that my uh, I got a lot better performance out of my uh, latte panda here when I got around to putting the fan on the back of it to cool off the uh, SOC the system on the chip. <laughs> it's much more responsive now. I didn't realize I was getting thermal limited um, uh, that often until somebody pointed it out. I said, "Okay, let's give it a try." Yeah. Oh, well. Really? I didn't know that. I think that's pretty... I mean, running at 93, then, that's pretty... I mean, it's better than 98, I suppose. I, I do know that uh, when I'm dealing with the the plastics, I, I can do all right at some temperatures, but it gets kind of uh, floppy after a while. Hmm. Let's see before I put this back on there. If there's any other thing I want to try. So, so here's the problem. This switch is going to go where you see in the close-up. It needs to stick out this way a couple of millimeters, the, the tab on it. And I just tried to solder it with a, with a washer I had laying around. One, washers are notoriously hard to solder. And this thing, this uh, plate, this, uh, this has got a coating on it. And I... I think I could get past the coating, but I ended up melting the switch, so I'm, I'm, that's useless as well. Um, well, 
what I've done in the past, what I've already tried is some super glue. And I think my this super glue has been running around in my toolbox. Um, say uh, the other fella in the chat right now is is, is the dot commy fella. He's uh, in. He probably the last time he saw me at my 3D printer Saturday. This was in my toolbox, so it's been in there a way long time. Oh, wait a minute. This is a thing off the old one. I wonder. What I really should do, what I really should do is 3D print me. Oh, you're in Germany at the moment. Cool. You said you traveled around. I just didn't realize how far, how far you went. I've been to Germany, I think, twice. I don't know, 30 years ago or so. That sounds weird. There's people I work with that aren't that old, and that, and uh, and that's in, in 30 years ago. I mean, they ain't that old, and I was in Germany that long ago. Weird. Um, what I really need to do is reprint that part so that insets itself just so here. But I don't have a printer to do that. Well, I kind of have a printer to do it, but it's crappy. Anyway, reset, reprint this part. So it will inset itself um, just a little bit on the extrusion so the parts line up better to hit that uh, hit that plate. Mm. Dang it. Oh. No, can't do that. Ooh, can't do that. Yes, can't do that. Let me think here. Well, I can just put that on there. And we'll see. I mean, it'll work because it was working before. Work. Yeah, that's what's on was on there before. Maybe I could try this same old stupid thing again. Yeah, let's try the same old stupid thing again. Go from there. How far do I actually have? This. I'm going to go over that far before I hit the thing. How far is that? About three millimeters. I wonder if I had a measuring device around here where they could tell me. Oh, okay. Oh. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I'm sorry, CC. Um... The reason I'm saying I'm an idiot 
as I remember talking to you before, and I think you said you were in Georgia. And I assumed that was Georgia, the state in the United States, as opposed to Georgia that's in Europe. Wow, cool. I am an idiot. I'm, I apologize for being that much of it. I'm, I'm, you, uh, you've seen me talk a bunch, so yeah. That's a bad assumption, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to, mean to go crazy like that. A little difference. A little different. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Sometimes uh, us American folks tend to. Uh, that's about two millimeters. Yeah. I think that'd be, I, you know, I, I love it here, obviously. I have been, like I said, I've been to Germany a couple times. And, um, I do like it over there. I really do like it over there. Yeah, nobody's traveling very much these days, though. I do have some plans to travel, um, later this uh, uh early next year i certainly hope i certainly hope all this noise is, is cleared pretty much up my cat's helping me today if you had not noticed here let me my cat here this is ralph ralph is helping me today he's uh he's an expert in something or another Okay, we're going to try this. Uh, we're going to rough this thing up. And then we're going to try this uh, super glue one more time. I just cracked it open, so I didn't think it had been bad due to... Uh, due to uh, oxidation. Oh, that's not, that's, that's, well, I, hmm. uh, you know, I understand the scare. I understand the fear. And I'm not going to tell anybody that they shouldn't be afraid. Because you are whoever you are. And you are who you're going to be. I will tell you that, um, what you see on the news and what you see in everyday life, for the most part, is uh, is vastly different. Because uh, I because I, I know that uh, the time the the couple times I got to go to Europe, I assumed a whole bunch of stuff, and I was absolutely wrong, and I assumed those things due to. Due to what I saw on the news, and only what I saw on the news. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Us Americans think that that you folks are over there running 150 miles an hour everywhere you go, right? And that's certainly not the case. You know, and I'm in Texas, so there's a whole other thing in Texas going on where people believe that I'm walking around and we all walk around in cowboy, bo cowboy boots and uh, uh, we all walk around in cowboy boots and ride horses to work and all those sorts of things. And, 
That is not true. All right. Come on. Hold on there just a little bit. We'll get some clamping pressure on you. That is certainly not true. Yeah. Yeah, I rented a car once uh, on one of my trips right on the uh, Germany, Switzerland, or Switzerland, no, Switzerland, wasn't Germany, Switzerland, Italy border, um, and uh, doing some things and drove around, never got anywhere near the speed limit, uh, of course. Uh, when I was driven around a couple times, never did get any, you know, we were on the Autobahn, you know, we were like, ooh, the Autobahn. No, and it's just a highway system. You know, it's okay. It's just, it's just a perception. Until, until you've been there and done that, you know, you have weird ideas of things. We're like, eh, yeah. And that's certainly not the case, right? Um, I, I am aware, though, that uh, a lot of people that drive in Germany who then come over to the States and drive, uh, I'll, I'll warn you here, they, apparently we freak a lot of people out over here with our driving. Um, for instance, on our major highway systems, you're not supposed, you're always supposed to pass on the left. Everybody pass on the left. But the way people drive, you're going to get passed on the right, you're going to get passed on the left. Heck, you get passed and while you're in the lane you're in. And um, it's, uh, it's a bit weird. I say it's a bit weird. I know a lot of, uh, I've talked to some people that are used to driving in Europe and in Germany, and they come over here and they freak out. Like, what are you, how do you people not wreck everywhere you go? Well, it's kind of how what you're used to. Yeah, that was my understanding too. Passing on the, passing on the rights illegal in Germany. It's kind of illegal here too, sort of. And what I mean by sort of, I don't think you can get a ticket for doing that. You're definitely going to get, you might, depending on how fast you're going, get more attention from the, from the police officers than you really want to. <laughs> in other words, in other news, how the mosquitoes treating you over there, man? Alrighty, I think hopefully that's going to stick and we're going to be good. So Jared, soldering bad. I haven't pressed on it really, really hard yet. But so far, the uh, super glue, when I was able to get some pressure on it, press down on it, and not using two pieces of metal, have something a little porous with my, uh, that's an old piece of ABS I had laying around. Seems to be working. Seems to be working. And now we get to go play and install this thing and then make it work again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hornets, five centimeters long, yeah. Yeah, we have hornets over here too, and that's uh those are pretty bad. I, I can tell you I've never been stung by a hornet. I know. Yeah, see, that's going to work just fine there, I think. 
I do know that everybody I've talked to said that's the worst thing ever. Like we talked before, your uh, your German uh, your German wasps they look like uh, some kind of yellow jacket to me. But your German wasps those things sting sting pretty good. Little fat fingers. Okay, you drop things three times. You need to step back and take a step back and take a breath. Graf, you can't help me. You don't want to help me. Okay, we're on there now. I'm going to tighten that up. Before I do, though, I need to drop that a little bit. I need me a down wrench or two, actually. Hey, man, how you doing? I have a helper today. Ralph's helping me. I'm trying to uh, get my printer back into operation. And uh, after I get done with this, I need to relevel the bed, but I need to get me a uh, an Allen wrench. You know, I, I was I've been tooling around, watching some other uh, yeah. See, I'm half a helper. Watching from other uh, streams, and I'm trying to figure out what may be eventually when I get to do bits and games and all those other sorts of things. Uh, like I was watching InstaFluff a lot this weekend, and he had a. Oh, it was a stupid game, but it was lots of fun, and we all played it. The drop and the plink. I think I need a three. Yes, you're the best. You're the best kitty ever, and thanks for helping. All right. Yeah. He's been helping me all day long. He's claimed that he was an SQL expert at one point. And I asked him what a right hash join was, and he just looked at me. Of course, he most of the time just looks at me most of the time anyway. All right. All right, there's that. And then, it's time to coordinate showing everything that I can. Um, we're done with this order. Let me turn that off before I burn up something. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this thing till my uh, nozzle here touches the bed. In fact, what I want to do is I want to squeeze these down very tight because I'm just re-leveling the bed. And resetting a couple of things. Uh, 
That's as tight as that's going to go. If that's the case, whatever that pace is over there is where I want to do the bed. See if I can turn that around a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Don't get seasick. There you go. A little bit better, maybe? Who knows? No, uh, no CC? No. Um, the, the cat's not brain damaged. That's just how they all are. Every cat, we've got uh, Ralph, this is the most he's been inside for a long time. And most of the time, he's outside unless he wants something to eat or demands attention. Oh, wait a minute. I got junk on the end of my nozzle. You can't have junk on the end of your nozzle. So, Mozzie, what are you up to? this fine Monday night or Monday night for me maybe Tuesday morning for you hmm Flip that off. Come on. It's not that big a deal when I heat this up. It's going to melt and we're not going to have a problem. But I want to get a little close for I got done. Where's my glasses? Well, you know, there might not be any, there might be something wrong with that cat, but I'm telling you, every cat that I know of, I've had cats for a long, long time. They're, uh, they're, uh, act just that way. They want attention when they want attention, and they don't want attention when they don't want attention, and usually when they want attention, they want food too. Best 3D, uh, best leveling tool ever. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. See what I have here, just so I certainly don't want anything lower than that. That's pretty good. Now I need to make the clicker work. Okay, tell you what's going on. We 
want to do here is we want to move this into place so just for it clicks just as it clicks and then tighten it in so ah it all came off didn't it T-nuts for the lose sometimes. All right, come on. This, you gotta feel it click, you can't really. I got too much stuff going on, I can't hear it. Back there ought to be good. Get this thing close. I bet that's pretty close right there. Now we've got to tighten up those. Woo! As a He's like a chest robot and doesn't think ahead. <laughs> he does something and then stands still, thinks about 10 seconds. Yeah, that's what this cat does, too. Oh, believe it or not, that's what this cat does, too. In fact, what it'll do is it'll come in, it'll it'll lay there, and I'm thinking, good, it's going to be laying there for a while now. And as soon as it gets done, uh, and in a while for it, it's like, again, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. I might get a minute every now and then. He says, well, I need to do something else to annoy you. And no will start annoying me again. All right. I think I'm done with that. I need a real small hex bit now. I know these are two. Are they one and a half? Hey, I see some more pokers join. Shout out. Say hello. I'm working on my uh, 3D printer. Replacing a a busted switch for my Z limit, and then we're going to relevel the bed. And if I'm feeling really good and really happy, I may uh, try to do some other wacky stuff. That's been a long time in coming. Luckily, these bolts right here only need to be a little tight. They don't need to be way tight. There's a, a thing that I find I have a real hard problem with a lot of folks. And they'll get up and they'll decide that, ooh, i got to make this tight. There's a difference between tight and secure. Because what I did right there looked like I was straining. I wasn't. I was straining to keep myself from over tightening it. Okay, CC, you get some, you get some rest, man. 4.33 in the AM, thanks for hanging out. And um, don't let that cat keep you up too longer, too much. As you know, if you open a window, I bet that cat will come in. Hmm. All right, so the bolt here. Then we'll see what happens about powering up the of the printer. <clears throat> All right. That needs to get out of the way. Back that again. Oh, the printer 
is powered up, but let's see if we can control it. Do the right thing. I am going to uh, auto home this thing. It goes over and make sure it knows where X0 is. And make sure it knows where Y0 is as it knocks off my light. Then it goes and make sure where Z0 is. And it didn't work. Why didn't you hit that? Come on. Yay, Ikea lights. Why didn't that work? Oh, I know why they didn't work. I'm an idiot. Still have the other one plugged in, so let's go take care of that. There you go. So what happens is, this is the one coming out. And there's where it plugs into it. This is busted, but I'm going to use this wire. Yeah, I'm going to use this wire to extend things over here, reuse what I got going on. Okay. Got a mess. I can make my mess a little bit cohesive because I've got to do a couple of Right. Now let's see what happens. So auto home, fair, auto home. Just like it's supposed to. Perfecto. Let's see what happens. We try to, we need to do a couple things though. So gotta heat the bed up, and then we gotta heat the nozzle up so we can test this thing. So let's go about doing that. You know, I do believe that's the first time I've ever cleaned that glass. Most of my friends have said, yep, you're probably right about that. All righty. All right, let's, uh, we're going to prepare. I can actually show you this. Maybe oh, you can to see that. I'm going to prepare and say heat up PLA. Preheat PLA. Cell Depot. And at that point, I'm going to turn off the AC here. I've got a uh, cabinet that goes across this. 
and um, and when the cabinet is across it, uh, it heats up uh, fairly well. That's one of the reasons I want to uh, incorporate this, which is something called a MOSFET. Well, MOSFET is the chip that's on there, but it's a secondary power support supply that I'm going to put a PC power supply into uh, to power the bed by itself. It has its own thing. Currently, the uh, power supply here runs into this board, and this board supplies power to um, both the hot end and and the uh, the bed. Actually, I'm not too far from making that just work. A couple of ferrules. plugged in there yeah a couple of ferrules plugged in there and then those wires there just onto that I should probably try that for them all said and done today Ralph all right I'm gonna be right back a little, a little bio, a little water. Yeah, I'll be right back, folks.
Oh, program. Okay, program. I think I'm back. We are hot, by the way. Our hot end is hot, and our heated bed is heated. So now we can attempt to level our said bed. And let's see if I can help with that. Never seen that bed being leveled or heated. Our 3D printer leveled. Um, it's actually, uh, it takes a little time to start with, but then, uh, I don't know, you're like, ah, it's, it's leveled, kind of leveled. Where we're going to start, though, is we're going to auto home the thing again. And I'm using Marlin as my firmware. So I just say uh, auto home, go into prayer, and you say auto home. Now that, you saw that switch activate in the lower close up corner? Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, fa my favorite tool for doing this and post it note. And then we slide underneath. Now, let's see if I can show you that. My cable's not that long. I'll show you kind of what I'm doing. One will be closer over here when I do the other side. In fact, I can use bed leveling to help me do this. Prayer. There's a bed leveling option you can turn on. And I'm going to say level bed. I'm going to say level corners. And that's going to move me in so I can level all the corners. So what I do is, see how it just moves too easy? This paper will have a grain on it. The paper will have a grain on it. And then because, uh, here, let me switch over. This paper will have a grain on it. If you run your fingernail or thumbnail across it, you can feel that. All right? And when you start doing this, that's what you want to feel when you're doing when you're when you're doing this paper underneath of it and I don't feel any of that so I am too far away so as I loosen the nut which is lefty righty tighty lefty loosey I can loosen it just a little bit and try it again and I went from way too loose to I can't get underneath the I can't get it between the nozzle and the bed Tighten it up a little bit. That's a quarter turn, by the way. And now I can get right under it. That's how close it is. I'll back it back uh, about an eighth of a turn. I can pull it in. I can get it out. I also can feel the grains as I'm walking through it. I'm going to make it just a little bit closer by loosening up another eighth of a turn. And when you when you when you first start doing this, you think this is going to be really hard to do. It, it, it does take a little time. But what you want to do, one of the things you want to do is if you pull the paper out, you want to be able to push it back in relatively easily. And the reason I use these post-it notes like this, um, I'm not sure about the knockoffs. And these aren't knockoffs, by the way. These are real post-it notes. They have post well, they don't anymore because I took off the back. But you can say they have real post-it notes. And I'll pull these off another pile, I imagine, of things. Is that they're very, very consistent. And you can see right there where I'm hitting the nozzle as it goes in. Kind of cool. So we're going to hit the next corner. Now you can see it a little bit closer over here. All I'm doing is running my paper underneath of it. See how little how loose that is? Backing off. Backing off a bit more. Keep backing off. Wow. 
Wow, this is really loose. Ah, uh, here we go. You can't hear that. I can hear it. It's like it's scratching. And after a while, because I beat up my paper, sometimes you come from the side. It does go under there, but I got to push on it a little bit to go there. And I don't want that. About an eighth of a turn. And it goes through and it rubs and you can feel it. And I don't have to push it. There's no, there's no pressure to keep me from going into that. All right. So next corner. Same thing again. And what happens is this bed's hot. So is that nozzle. And you want it hot because metal will flex. Will flex. So you want to you want to heat this to the temperature you're planning on printing at. So if it's PLA, it's PLA is more than likely 60 degrees C. It's ABS. They use that's a bit hotter. Um I run mine when I when I used to, I don't have a lot of P, P, ABS at the moment. When I print ABS, I'm running it at least to 90 degrees. The problem is this printer and its current power supply getting this bed to uh, 90 degrees, or in some people, some people they want 110 degrees on their ABS is really really hard. It just doesn't have enough pump. Okay, getting there. Now, wrong way. Now you may say to yourself, how many times do you need to do this? Well, I do this once, once I make major changes, and then Oh, there's some gooey going on there. Okay, I'll give me another another square. Once I make major changes, or once I start seeing some weirdness, did you watch your print? Your, your printer will tell you what it needs if you're just watching it. Oh yeah, see, I'm real close. The other thing is, I'm not when I when I do all four corners, I'm still not done. And the reason that is, is because when you adjust one corner, you may be messing up another corner. Okay, I'm really close. One thing I should have done here that I didn't do as much as I should have, should have cleaned my bed really good. And I'll do that here before I go around and around again. So you want to do two rounds of this. At least. That's pretty good. Because what's going to happen is because I started here. Hold on. What happens? I started here. I made sure that was the right distance. And I go over here to do that's the right distance. But the pivot point is back here. And I measured here. So as I change this distance on this side, it's going to change that one slightly. Won't be much because the angle is very long. But it still changes it. So what you want to do is you just want to get these things as close as you can. Because you say, well, I want it perfectly flat. And there's a bunch of people that want it perfectly flat. Everybody wants it perfectly flat. I got something to tell you. Most of the time, 
It ain't perfectly fine. I do have a BL touch, which is a, uh, do some automatic bed leveling. That's the connector that's right here, by the way, for mounting it. I just haven't uh, enabled it. And we'll get around to doing that. Uh, I just have it enabled it. Okay, that's pretty good. Before I go any further, I'm going to get out one of my lint fleet. Ah, uh, that's not one. Ah. Uh. Get my paper towel and I'm going to clean the bed that I should have done before I even started. And I'm just using standard old Windex and the bed is fairly hot so when I squirt this on there you may see some smoke and stuff. Like there's some junk left on it from other previous prints. And hairspray. You may ask yourself, Harold, why are you putting hairspray on your print? And I moved the bed, by the way, so we're going to, using the automated system, we're going to redo this again. Well, one of the reasons you put hairspray on the print is it roughs the surface up. Now, there's a bunch of noise out there. I don't know if it's true or not, that this Aquanet hairspray that we all tend to use has some plastic in it or some, or, or some such. I don't know if that's true or not. In fact, I, I seriously doubt that it's actually true. What I do know that it does, makes the surface just rough enough where the plastic wants to hold on to it. All right. Let's try this again. Let's say next corner. Yeah. Go on. I upset it because I moved it. My fault, not it. We're going to then make sure we're at temperature again. So that did drop a little bit. It dropped uh, three degrees, by the way, from the time I hit the, the stop button to the time I told it to go again. So it'll go, it'll go down pretty quick. Hey, somebody joined in there. Somebody yell out. My name's Harold, working on my 3D printer. Normally do, I normally try to build robots, but uh, in order to build robots, I need my 3D printer to work to, uh, to make things happen, and uh, some of it broke. Woohoo! My cat here is helping me today. That's uh, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph can't be bothered most of the time. All right, we're back at temperature again. Let's go through the bed leveling process. I'm going to prepare bed leveling. I run down to, because I have my own load here. The level bed. Uh, I don't want to level bed that way. Hmm. Oh, we're not doing all that. That's crazy. Mesh bed leveling is awesome, but I don't care about that right now. I want it just to uh, I just want to do the four corners because I think I'm going to put a MOSFET on tonight. Fair. Preheat PLA. Help to do both. And away we go. And right now I've got it up. It's uh my new end is my new Z stop is in place. Now I'm leveling the bed. 
I've already done one round of it. I forgot to clean my glass plate. I'm going to clean it again and going to run another round of it. Hmm. All right, I need a tasty beverage. It's just water. Mm. What's all that? Mm. Oh, I know what that is. That was my mm. that's my time to stop broadcasting, but I'm in the middle of doing this. Okay, so I'll get the bed level, and then we'll print a calibration cube. We'll see what happens. I try to uh, stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, sometimes I'm doing this. I'm trying to get me a robot built so I can run around here and give uh, Ralph here something to do. Something fun to do other than uh, annoy me, which I think is his favorite pastime. Okay, our well, bed is back to temperature again. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to auto home it. So we are where we think we are. Alrighty. And we'll uh, close this up again. And I'm going to Marlin software is what I'm using on my printer. Go and prepare. Go into bed leveling, go down where it says level corners, hit the button, so our first corner comes up, a piece of post-it note. Hey Sean, how you doing? You done lurking? Yeah, I'm supposed to be roboting, but uh, in case uh, you hadn't noticed, my uh, printer stopped working today. I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Talk to you. I mentioned you today when I was uh, online with Mr. Perry, working through some Palumi things. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm actually at the end of mine here, and I was going to do some more because I've got a MOSFET and some other things I can do on here. But I looked up, and I saw I got my alarm, my my hey, you got to go to bed. Yeah, that's why your ears burn. Exactly. Um, that's why. Uh, and uh and uh, i thought i was gonna do some more but i'm looking at my time here and there's some realities and stuff i need to get my sleep back in control and that kind of thing and sometimes when i stand up i get to doing this and before i know it's two o'clock in the morning and i'm like that's no good for me that's no good for me at all I don't know how much 3D printers you've seen or played with. Ooh, that's really good. I mean, that was from the last time we went. That's really good. Maybe a little tighter. Yeah, that's really good right there. And luckily for you folks, well, that's pretty good too. Yeah. If I feel good about this. This next one, if I feel good about it, we'll print. Uh, I got a calibration cube loaded here, and we'll print. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. good. We'll print us a calibration cube just to make sure we think it's the way it's supposed to be. Not a few, not a full cube, just a cube that I use to check uh, wall width and uh, and basic uh, sizing of things. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning again. So we're all heated up, ready to go. One more test here. Oh, that's pretty good right there. All right. We're all heated up, ready to go. 
And now let's see if I can do a little print. This is not going to take very long. From 3D printer mode. Yep, we're heating up to 205. If I can back this off a hair bit. So you can see part of that. Uh, you can read a little of that, not so much. Let me uh, get this thing out of the way. This isn't going to take very much filament. And if I can, maybe I can move this up a little closer. Okay, it's taking a little bit to get all the junk out of it. Got it. Cool. Okay, we've got stuff going down. Yeah, Sean, I didn't have, I took a bunch of notes. Um, uh, hanging out with you and that kind of stuff. I've yet to get a bot on, so i got no drop for you, man. Sorry, dude. i got no drop for you. How hard is that to set up anyhow? No, not Palumi. Um, you know the bank. The, you know the uh, ch Twitch games. You know the game. You know for the dropping of the parachute and that sort of thing. The bots. Yeah. Yeah, we can do one of these. It's probably a better shot anyway. About a minute, yeah. I'm the guy that's having a hard time to figure out how to put info blocks on my page. So man, I don't know about a minute, nothing. Or custom banners or whatever they're called. I, like, how do you do that? I should be able to go somewhere and go, hey, put this on there. And apparently a bunch of people have done that. And I'm just not smart enough. So what it's going to do, it's going to lay down two or three layers. It's going to lay down two or three layers of uh, for the base, and then it's going to make me a single wall thing as it goes up. Oh, you got rated? That's fantastic, man. Who rated you? Okay, I don't know if I know that person. That's pretty cool. You're killing me, man. I don't even come in close. Only have half the number of subscribers and about uh, only two thirds of the average average viewers on the thing. But I'm working on it. Maybe I just don't have something as sexy to show off as Palumi. <laughs> and maybe Harold Pulcher, the name just doesn't draft the draw it once had. <laughs> and maybe what I should just do is have cats. Yeah, it is a different crowd. Maybe what I should just do is have 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 cats here watching 3D printers print things all day long. Maybe that'll get get it going, right? 
Have you seen the, the, the guy that plays music and, well, you're not lip syncing, but he's basically Deadpool playing along and goofing around to, to music? It's just, it, he's pretty insane. He's pretty, it's, it's Deadpool something, but it's, it's dead P-U-L something or another. Yeah, I, I ran across one of those. I just, I was creepy, man. I don't need to watch people sleep, dude. That Insta Fluff guy was cool, though. He seemed very sincere. And I don't know how you stay up 24 hours. I, you know, you stayed up longer than 24 hours because you had to prep at least a little bit to play that game and be just in as alert as happy at, at, at I, I guess we started watching about 12 hours and and at the end of the other 12 hours or the 24 hours he was still just that way having a grand old time mm -hmm. you know I may end up doing that that's not too long and I can certainly know if I did something right really fast No, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to the next adventure. As I can get in the middle of this before I know it, it'll be midnight. Uh, anybody else on the channel? I know CC dropped off a little while ago because he's in uh, Europe. Well, I think he's in Europe currently. Uh, nor a couple places. It's four. It's like five o'clock in the morning for him. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Um, I have a few minutes. I got OBS going. In fact, uh, let me do this. Yes, yes. Yes, Ralphie. Yeah, my camera's glitching pretty bad. So why don't I do not that? Take it out of studio mode. Yo! Add a browser source. Set to 1920 by 1080. Okay. My cat's helping me here. Browser source. Plus. Okay. We'll create a new one. Okay. All right, you got my URL field. Let me go pull that. Come on, no, 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 no. I was just on that. Oh, I'm on it now. Have to go check mails. Okay. Copy link.
All right. Okay. Yep, I clicked OK. <laughs> Probably don't need all that. Oh, look at there. Sean's going in. I have Inception on Sean. Oh, look at you. Look at you with a 77. Wonder if I ain't bad. Man, let me try here. Go. Man, we got a lot of movement going on there. In fact, why don't I do this? Lord. Yeah, that blows. I guess, is there, what's the settings on that thing? I guess I should go look at that and figure that out, but see, drop again. I guess you can give people prizes and junk and all that stuff. The Plinko game, okay. And the Plinko is just another browser source. Copy. Oh. All right. We add another browser source. Yeah, Plinko. Hey, the print's done. Okay. Yeah, I do. I mean, only thing that's seeing there right now. Uh, everybody knows I'm on Rackspace. Trust me. So, if I do this... Go back to studio mode. Close up. <laughs> I'll try a plank and then I've got to I've got to move on there. Hold on here. And I guess there's stuff you can set up somewhere on that browser link to give them points and all the other junk. Ah. Cool, I have to go check that out. Let me go back over here so I can show you what I finished God didn't do it. God didn't do it. Listen to me talking. Oh, that's custom bot stuff. Okay. So... That box finished, and I'm just about getting to be done too. And hold on, where did it go? I think I just popped it off. Yep, 3D print. Ooh, ah, uh, so cool, cool, cool. Well, my camera's glitching, so that means I'm about done, I do believe, for tonight. So, um before I uh, raid whoever's left hanging out with me over to someone else, um, I'd like to say that uh, whether it's from my failures or your successes, I hope you learned something tonight, and I hope to see you back soon. Be safe.
Well, 